Hey guys, you're watching Desi Martini and my name is Zenia. Today we have with us the very talented Huma Qureshi and Avantika Dasani who's all set to make a debut with Mithya. Hi Avantika, hi Huma, welcome to Desi Martini. Thank you. Hi. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And you know, Mithya, the trailer of Mithya looked so intriguing. There's truth, there's lie, and there's so much in between. And uh, it's a thriller. So, uh, I, I mean, there would you won't be able to give much of the story, but was there any point at which, you know, because Avantika and Huma, your characters clash in the film. Was there any point where you were talking normally behind the camera and it felt odd because of the tension when the camera was rolling? No, because you know, we were not talking normally when the cameras were off. We were only talking rubbish. We were only laughing. <laughs> we were pulling each other's legs and we were just like having mad fun. So it was like, if we didn't do that, we were like, what happened? Why are you yeah. doing, doing something silly? What's up? I think it was just one of the most, I mean, although it was a thriller, but because mm -hmm. of, I think, Darjeeling or how we were or the location, like we just bonded so much. We were always moving around. So I'm wow. so confused with the camera thriller is shoot karna hai, comedy comedy bana rahe, kya hai? And but uh, on screen jab aap logo ke beech mein takkar hoti thi, tab, and then transitioning into this friendly thing, did it at any point feel like Are, my character is getting on me like bahut zyada effect kar rahe? Avantika, Not at all. Very serious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a couple of moments where that would almost happen, but uh, Ahuma would really pull me out of it every time. Like I would try and be like very, you know, focused or this and that. Mm -hmm. And Huma's like, SNE, SNE karte, mein batati. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, it was such a blast because um, if I would try and take myself way too seriously, I think Huma just showed me how to have a good time and have fun while doing what we did. Wow. No, my only thing was like, you know, we are doing some very serious work and I take my work mm -hmm. very seriously, but it doesn't mean you have to become boring. Huh. You know, like you don't have to become like sargilla, like I call it. Like you can just be fun and chill and still do good work. Like it's of course. not mutually exclusive. Ah, true, true. Also, Avantika, this is your debut film and you know, uh, when you like your debut film kind of sets the mood for what the audience is going to expect from you. So why did you say yes to Mithya to be your debut project? So, uh, I mean, there are a lot of reasons and hopefully you'll find out all of them on 18th of Feb. But the idea is that Ria's character is, you know, such an intriguing one. She's complex. She's great. She's so explosive every time. Uh, you know, I come in with a plot twist and there's something crazy going on. Uh, the chance to work with uh, all of these brilliant, brilliant people uh, and to be working with Goli sir, Rohan sir, um, applause for me sir. So I think everything came together in like a really, really nice way. Um, and just like you said, the idea is that, you know, there's an expectation that sort of comes out of you. Hmm. But I hope that uh, any you know, preconceived notions that someone would have uh, about me or a newcomer uh, with their first project are broken by this project and the kind of character I'm playing. And uh, it just does not put me in a box and says, this is what she can do. It. I hope that what it does is say, she can do practically anything. Let's try something different. Um, that's, that's what I was hoping. And that's why uh, Mithya was my choice. Okay, and uh, Huma, for you, I, I mean, when a script comes to you, I'm pretty sure you'll uh, weigh the, a lot of things, you'll take into consideration a lot of things. But if you could tell me one thing that compelled you to say yes to this project. <laughs> Are you laughing? I'm seriously telling you. Jokes and uh, masti aside, I think uh, the script, most importantly, mm -hmm. story. My character graph, what I, I've always believed, like I've done big films, small films, indie films, series, all of that. Uh, I always pick a role that I'm doing based on how important or incidental it is to the story. Um, you know, and that applies to whether I'm doing a lead. And also often I've done like parts, like a big ensemble films. I mean, I started mm -hmm. with Gangs of Us, you know, in which I had like 200 actors. But the important thing is, what are you doing? How are you contributing to the story? So for me, that's always been very, very important. And 
uh yeah read the script and if that resonates with you that's my reason actually to do the project not who's in it not who's producing it not who's uh how much you know like i don't know just how big the project is it's just about like uh whether the story moves me okay and uh, avantika you know with a, when a debut project comes up everyone hopes that it would come uh theatrically it would release theatrically you get to see yourself on the big screen but this is an ott release so somehow did you feel disappointed for the fact that you won't be or your friends families won't be able to see you on the big screen not at all my career is just starting there's going to be enough time for them to see me on the silver screen and there's wow. going to be a lot of opportunities for that uh i choosing an ott series was a very conscious decision because uh, as we've seen in the last couple of years the landscape has changed everyone is loving ott shows mm-hmm. uh you know you talk about humaz maharani fantastic you talk about all the kind of uh, characters that women are getting to portray in uh, series today scripts that are written uh, for women characters having such strong roles having you know women centric stories is one thing uh and you know not just women centric but just stories in general they're great stories being told they're great characters being written and uh, i was really excited to be a part of that to be a part of uh this kind of a world uh, rather than just necessarily people's expectations of a debut and a launch you know i that's not something that guides my decision and what i want to do i'm an actor as long as i get to play an interesting character i get to work with interesting people i get to be a part of a very nice script that's what excites me and i've just started there's enough time for movies there's enough time for everything else for of me to us of course also you know because your entire family has a filmy background like your brother is doing amazing work and everyone knows what bhagya shri ji and the amazing work that she has done what was the advice what were the advices that you were given before uh, mithya happened uh nothing they just they told me and just have fun you know you've given you this is what you made a decision now give it your all uh be there present every single day enjoy yourself while you're doing what you're doing and uh, make sure you're focusing you're giving it uh, the kind of uh, you're giving your craft you're giving the people that you work with the kind of respect and integrity that it requires and it deserves uh mm-hmm. that's essentially what it was my mother tells me eat my greens sleep on time this is the <laughs> advice that i get as any mother gives any daughter or any child सर दुख रहा है क्यों क्योंकि लेकिन तू कल रात को सोई नहीं और फोन पे टाइम स्पेंड कर रही है दैट इज दैट इज द एडवाइस दैट आई गेट फ्रॉम देम एंड दैट इज व्हाट आई गेट बीन टोल्ड एवरी सिंगल डे यू आर वाचिंग टू मच टीवी स्टॉप इट एंड यू नो हुमा बिकॉज अवंतिका वाज द न्यू पर्सन ऑन द सेट दैट दिस डेब्यू फिल्म व्हाट वाज योर फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन ऑफ अवंतिका व्हेन शी अराइव्ड ऑन द सेट्स I thought uh, not just on set. I met Avantika before. I remember meeting her at uh, uh, Rohan sir's office, and it was uh, our first meeting. We were there for a reading and a session, and I remember like you know she was uh, there before me, and uh, you know she was all very excited and whatever. And I was like, hey, hi, you know, like I was like I'm Huma, and I'm going to rag you a lot because <laughs> normally I'm the one who gets ragged on film sets, and now this is my turn to <laughs> rag somebody new. So I'm like, yes, I'm going to milk this opportunity. So. But- uh, Who would drag you on the sets? This is a very serious question. Everybody drags me on set. I am everybody. Everybody makes fun of me. Yeah. Please, yeah. I get picked on a lot everywhere I go. So that's why this is my opportunity. I will drag it on the set. So, so yeah. So, uh, and I really milked it. But you know, she was very like my first impression of her was she was very hardworking. She was very diligent. She took uh, what she was here to do very very seriously. uh you know and i knew that you know she was going to do her best her very best uh you know to this to the best of her ability and i think that was what you know i found most endearing because i i honestly don't like people who take their work um or other people's time or other people's efforts lightly but i thought like from day one she was very like this is what i have to do Focus. she respected everyone's time everyone's effort and she tried to do her best and i think that's you know what you can uh, possibly do in a situation like this 
and i think that's uh, and you know i think she has a long way ahead of us and she's going to go very far i love her so much nice this is coming out and i promise you all this bullying that she's talking about now all of it was removed on set that's why even i'm getting shocked listening to such nice nice things being said i can't tell you this and i also so find it so hard who If has bullied you, you all this will become like mad oh i'm so cool and all that chal 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 dekh kar but but you but uh, this is a great question how have you been bullied i don't understand it i don't understand Auntie. how can anyone bully you i've been bullied many times so many you times you and me pulled pranks on each other and we've done masti but how can anyone so bully you that i'm saying other sex other sex any yeah and that's what i'm saying any sex you're no, such a fataka I... you explain to me <laughs> <laughs> Who can encapsulate this fataka? <laughs> no, 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 no. I get bullied. I get bullied. मुझे भी ये बात ना like I I couldn't digest it कि somebody would actually rag who Rishi. मतलब it's very very difficult to process for me. Of course, I've been ragged so many times. अभी recently with a double XL, I was everybody's favorite like rag person. They would keep laughing at me and like whatever. ये देखो आगे है like whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay, and uh, since I we take out my bhara somewhere, my pent up bhara, I have to take out somewhere. Avanti ka, it was up and nickel gaya. Yeah, and, and since we are short on time, we'll wrap it up. And before going, Huma, what is the again? I'll say if you could wrap it uh, wrap it up on one reason, like encapsulate it in one reason. Why should we not miss Nitya? I think I don't miss Mithya. It's a great show. It's got it's a thriller. It's something that like you know it's uh, my first thriller. So please watch it for me. <laughs> And Avantika, uh, it's my debut. <laughs> <laughs> so selfishly watch it for both of us. Yes, okay. very much so. Okay, I'll watch it for the tension that you guys have created uh, in the trailer when we saw the trailer. The kind of tension that I felt, and now it looks like so much fun. So I'm going to see how that translated or kya hua tha. So I'm definitely watching Mithya. Thank you so much, Huma. Thank you so much, Avantika, for joining with Desi Martini. It was lovely having a conversation with both of you. Thank you, Zinia. So sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.